Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of uh, the previous video about the, the creation of uh, connection between two tapered sections manually. So in this video I'll create the bolts and stiffeners and also the bolts to create a complete assembly. Okay, first of all I need to have uh, increased these plates a little bit because I need to have a clear spacing and the edge spacing about uh, 60 millimeters so this space this uh, distance is about uh, 70 i need to have about 60 to 65 uh, millimeters so select both uh, both plates you can change it to you can click on that and change here the length but uh, the faster way is uh, click uh, select all plates and hold down the Alt key and select the handles. Select the handles. Okay, now you, you have selected the handles and right click, move for on this line, on this direction from here and about, uh, I think about 120. Oh, that was too much. Move. About, let me check this time. From here to here, it is 120. It's perfect. Okay, so the total length of the plate is uh, one meter and uh, about uh, two centimeters. Okay, mm. so for creation the bolts, uh, go to Steel tab and click the bolt. Here I choose the bolt size about uh, 27, and uh, you can change the standard, but uh, I will leave it uh, as it is. And also, uh, this is a bolt size. I want to have uh, three millimeters tolerance for creating about uh, uh, 30 millimeters uh, of the holes. Uh, I mean, the hole of the plate will be 30 millimeters and the diameter of the bolt is 27. So I'll give it uh, three millimeters of the tolerance. So it will create a holes on the plates uh, three, three millimeters bigger than the, the bolt size. Okay, so uh, and then I will the bolt spacing is about uh, 100. I think it's 120. Yes, 120. Let's try six bolts and in the x direction. I mean the x direction is uh, is from here to here. This will be the our x direction and the y direction. The y direction is uh, 130. This is 130. Okay. Uh, select the main part. Here, two plates are, uh, there's no difference between the plates. So, select uh, one of them. This plate and this plate. And to stop selecting, click the middle mouse button. Middle mouse button. And select the pick point to indicate the bolt origin from here and uh, to here. Okay. So, uh, we, we should give it a, a distance dx offset from the origin. It is about uh, 30, I think. Yes, it's perfect. But uh, I need to have uh, increase one or more, one bolts. Let's change to seven. Okay. So this is the bolts. Let me check the distance. Go to the measure, bolt spacing, select the bolts. And also select the plate. Here is 60, 60, and 100, and this is uh, also 120. This is uh, very uh, correct. Okay, so let's create the stiffeners, these uh, kind of stiffeners, triangular stiffeners. Okay, go to the steel plate. Let's try plate 10 millimeters. I'll choose C from here. And uh, the stiffeners uh, 10 centimeter by 10. Okay, so from here 10 and 100, and also perpendicular, perpendicular 100. So from here and middle mouse button to enclose uh, the fold. Okay, to create uh, this kind of uh, cuts, let me show you. These cuts you can either you can either uh, click the plate and select this handle and go to the shape 
line so i i need to uh, to create a line straight from here to here uh, the distance is 100 by 100 okay 100 by 100 yes so uh, a faster way is uh, deleting this handle if we uh, if i click uh, on the handle right click and delete it will delete this handle and uh, straightly um, cut like this okay right click on the handle uh, and click delete okay so for this handle i should create a uh, a gap here for the uh, for the fillet weld click the handle and go to the shape change it to line i need to have a one centimeter for the weld 10 by 10 in x and y direction okay so for creation another stiffeners like this uh, i should change the working plane on the rafter okay for that go to the components and choose and to write down surface create the surface view with the edge okay uh, double click on that component and select the surface and select the edge it doesn't work select the surface you should uh, select the objecting component surface and the edge okay it will create a, a new uh, surface view on the surface of the rafter okay so go to the plate again it's a uh, 10 centimeter by 10 from here and also from here and 100 over here and middle mouse button and also right click on that delete and this is changed to line 10 by 10 okay get back to the grid one view you see sorry you see it here okay control p to uh, reflect that view click on that the stiffener move special linear from here to the bolt in uh, set direction move okay so i need to have uh, create the stiffeners uh, between the bolts and in dz between the distance between these bolts are 120 so i should move it minus uh, 60 okay move and again i should uh, weld between the the stiffeners and the plates go to the weld and this is welded to this the, the top flange of the rafter and also the end plate select the main part this is a rafter and select the part to be weld this plate and also this this is the main part and also the stiffness the secondary part and also this is this rafter this is the main part and the end plate is uh, secondary part and uh, this sorry this stiffener is welded to the web of the rafter okay so click the weld click the web and uh, select the stiffener okay so i have to create another stiffener c and also and, and then mirror it about uh, this line okay first of all let me mirror it mirror this uh, uh, this stiffener in this side okay i should change the working plane so the z direction for the mirroring should be uh, toward uh, our screen okay so uh select go to the work plane and choose the work plane on the top flange of the rafter okay click here select the plate right click copy special mirror from here to here and click copy okay done also uh, click the plate right click copy mirror and also from the same line and then click copy okay select both the plates the i mean the the, the stiffness right click copy special linear in y direction i mean it is in, in this direction uh, clear i need to have uh, to copy one two three five and six six times copy in uh, dy 
in minus y direction. Okay, dy minus 120 and six times. And click copy. We go also. This one should be removed. Okay. Okay, we have created the stiffeners and uh, in in one side, the stiffeners in this side. I should uh, mirror to this to another side. Uh, for that, let me create uh, also a weld between the the column and the the stiffeners. Click that. Click uh, go to the steel weld this web to the stiffener and also this web to the stiffener. And weld this rafter to the end plate and also this web to the end plate. Okay. So select, uh, let's get back to the 3D. So we are in 3D mode. And go to the view and work plane parallel to the view plane and select the view to get back the, the origin. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, turn off the welding symbols. Right click on the display and go to the display and welds uh, and check it here and click modify apply. Okay, okay. So I'll select these stiffeners and do the the, the sti all stiffness. This one. You can create a filter for them, but uh, it's not necessary for one. Select all the stiffeners, this one and also this one. And right click, copy special mirror about the center of the column. This is about the, this grid line from here to here. Click copy. Okay. Here you see, this is uh, perfect. Okay, let's... Uh, I think uh, I created almost all components of uh, this connection. Uh, let's check the assemblies. So click on the assembly, select that. Okay, all the components are correct in this assembly of the rafter. And for the column, yes, it's also correct. It has uh, all the end plates and stiffness. This is perfect. Okay. Uh, this is the end of this video. Uh, I hope you guys got something new and stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you very much.